Hey guys, Tom from the Homecraft Chronicles here. Today on HDMM, I'm gonna show you the best hammer for your all around use and how to get the most out of it. As you can see, there's a wide variety of hammers out there. What I have doesn't even scratch the surface to what's available that you can buy at your local home center or hardware store, but basically it comes down to two types of hammers. A claw hammer and a rip hammer. Now, they look pretty similar, but there is a subtle difference, and that difference isn't so much on the business end, but it's on the back end. A claw hammer is more angled, and it's more for like finer work. You'd see a finished carpenter or somebody using a claw hammer, whereas a rip hammer, the back end is more straight, and it's more for prying, and what, it's, what it says, ripping. And you really don't use them the same way. You can rip nails out with both of these, but you do it very differently. You're driving in bigger nails, more structure type nails, and when you rip that out, you don't pry it straight up. You have to actually move back and forth to get the nail out. Whereas with a claw hammer, you're doing finer work. You're gonna see a lot more finished carpenters use these when they're not using their, their finished nailers. And this kind of hammer, you do just pry straight out. There's all kinds of hammers to choose from. There's steel hammers, fiberglass hammers, but a 12 to 16 ounce claw hammer is the perfect hammer for pretty much any job you need to do around your home. A lot of people prefer the old fashioned wooden handled hammer. Now they're great. I have several of them. The only thing I'm gonna tell you is, as opposed to the steel and fiberglass and composite handled hammers that have some kind of grip on them, a lot of the wood ones don't. And over time, between sweat and dirt and oils from your hand, these can get a little slick. And you wanna make sure you have a good grip on these. Now I'm gonna show you a couple ways that you can turn your wood-handled hammer into a safer tool to use. Now the simplest thing to do is just go out to the sports store, buy some grip tape that you would use on tennis rackets or golf clubs or baseball bats, wrap the handle of your hammer, and you're good to go. But if you don't wanna do that, you just wanna use what you have laying around, let me show you a couple ways to accomplish that. Now the first thing you can do is just take a drill with a drill bit. Drill a few holes about a third of the way up the hammer handle. Not real deep. You're just trying to give yourself a little irregular surface that's going to make the hammer handle a lot more grippy and you're going to get a nice sturdy feel and control of the hammer. Next option, drill a couple of holes, thread some jute twine through there, knot it off. Wrap it real tight around the bottom part of the handle until you get to the top hole. Then feed the extra through the top. Pull it tight again. Knot it off. You can put some glue on the knots if you want. But what this is gonna do, again, it's gonna give you an irregular grip. It's a nice textured handle and you're gonna get a nice sturdy grip. And finally, you can get some of that plastic paint, either in a spray or a can. You can dip the handle or spray the handle and that's gonna give you a nice, flexible, irregular grip for a good hold on your hammer. As you can see, there's a lot to consider when it comes to hammers, but the most important tip I can give you is just pick the one that feels right for you. Whether you're getting it from a home center, a hardware store, a garage sale, or even your dad's toolbox, make sure it feels right for you, it's not too heavy, and that way you'll be able to tackle all the projects that we mere mortals have to do every week. From hanging a mirror, to fixing a shelf, or even pounding in a garden stake, a good multi-purpose hammer is gonna tackle all those projects, no problem. If you haven't already, please take a minute, subscribe to HGMM, that way you won't miss any of the projects we have for you week in and week out in and around your home. And then come on over, visit me at the Homecraft Chronicles for more DIY, home repair, home improvement, and everything else around the home. That's it for me. I'm Tom from the Homecraft Chronicles. Until I see you next time, right here at HGMM, take care.